Joining us now is Yasmin Hurd. She's the director of the Addiction Institute at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Great to have you here. I, I have to be honest, I'd never heard about this link between marijuana use and psychosis or schizophrenia. I, is this new? No, it's not. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, there have been a number of studies over the years showing this link, and often you know it is small there are small studies and so on this particular study in question is a large population study nearly seven million people in denmark so the and they looked at them across five decades and you could clearly see an increased risk with schizophrenia with cannabis use disorder as that increase over those five decades and why is it more dangerous for boys and young men than it is for girls and young women you know, we have seen sex differences in different ways. Um, even in my research, we've seen prenatal exposure to cannabis impacts on the biological systems in males more than in the females. We don't completely know yet why, but we do know that there's a developmental difference in, for example, before the brain is fully mature at age 25, 26. And, and that's what the study showed. The study showed that those individuals that were, for example, 20 to 25, showed like 50% of the males there were high, showed a greater association with cannabis use disorder and schizophrenia than the females. It's that time window before the brain is fully developed. That is why there is a greater vulnerability. And but this the sex is different. And this is coming at a time when we're seeing more and more states legalize pot. I mean, in cities and states where it's legal, New York City is one of them, for example. You can't walk anywhere without smelling this stuff. Kids are getting their hands on it everywhere. And now we have this study showing this can cause really serious issues. Absolutely. I, I live in New York and I can say this certain parts of the city, absolutely, everybody has their hands on it. And this is the problem. Policy did not consider potency. And the potency of THC has dramatically increased. It's not the original plant that many people think it is. It's not a benign plant. It does impact on mental health and especially for the young brain. Mental health association is, is, is growing. Right. This is all coming at a time when we have the Surgeon General warning and you know the CDC warning of epic levels of depression and anxiety in our young adults and kids. And, you know, many of them may be trying to self-medicate with a drug that is highly potent and could be causing other very serious psychological issues. Wow. This is really important. Exactly. Yasmin, thanks so much for being here tonight to sound the alarm. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.